Okay, here we go. This is practicing and and ask. And is he to ask? And is she to ask? Did he ask and then wait? Did they ask and leave? They will ask and wait. They will ask and leave. And I asked her and they asked me. And she asks for it and he is asking for it. And was he to ask and was she to ask? Did she ask and go? Did you ask and receive? She will ask and go. She will ask and receive. And she asked him and he asked them and he asks for it and she is asking for it. Ask and go and ask and want and ask and stay and ask and leave and ask and have and ask and wish and ask and hope and ask and get and ask and have and ask and look and ask and watch, watch and ask and help and ask and seek and ask and let and ask and hope and ask and say and ask and have and ask and take and ask and leave and ask and type and ask and look and ask and read and ask and live and ask and deal ask to leave and ask to go and ask to hope and ask to see and ask to have and ask to do and ask to say and ask to look and ask to wear and ask to put and ask to read and ask to call and ask to go and ask and ask to fly and ask to stay and ask to store and ask to ship and ask to pray and ask to trade and ask to speak and ask to glide and ask to break and ask to spark and ask to swill and ask to see and ask and the car and the home and the book and the cat and the bus and the couch and the tar and the jeep and the fish and the pet and the night and the fight and the house and the rock and the cup and the dog and the rip and the cap and the rat and the mouse and the bear and the beer and the mare and the boy and the pit and the seam, and the dish, and the cab, and the phone, and the cub, and the ram, and the cod, and the pace, and the coke, and the put, putt, and the touch, and the hog, and the tar, and the fin, and the rag, and the war, and the roar, and the fan, and the pour, and the roll, and the bill, and the dare, and the coil, and fan the, and tear the, and touch the, and got the, and par the, and sell the, and call the, and route the, and pad the, and tar the, and near the, and mean the, and haul the, and see the, and saw the, and walk the, and set the, and roll the, and mar the, and tour the, and might the, and pet the, and told the, and fight the, and sear the, and hear the, and get the, and got the, and put the, and pull the, and hit the, and rake the, and tell the, and bear the, and guess the, and pair the, and have the, and say the, and see the, and has the, and put the, and wore the, and gore the, and pull the, and raid the, and sell the, and said the, and tax the. Oh, let me, um, I'll move you, Crystal, good morning, and, oh, here comes Annette. Okay. Let's do um, these doublets. Ancient carving, bank statement, military, uh, okay, auto pay report, uh, repeat performance, rocky coast, rocking chair, present danger, apple juice, cortisone injection, heart valve, sugar cookies, lightning bolt, mirror image, fever convulsion, blood blister, cabin pressure, prison sentence, software program, high class, former lover, double bed, narcotics raid, Educational research, window shade, pressure valve, effeat snob, massive earthquake, quotation mark, actuarial table, water softener, room temperature, yellow roads, radar system, 
telescopic lens winning season, tasty appetizer, summer evening, blistering heat, music publishing, irrigation ditch, dumb waiter, stealth bomber, elevator operator, urban sprawl, allergic reaction, high fashion, ultraviolet light, renewable source, atmospheric disturbance, loan foreclosure, lost leader, party hat, hot flashes, artistic masterpiece, sustained relief, junkyard dog, heavenly aroma, connecting flight to urban development, Roasted peanuts, personal trainer, working coffee, silver bullet, frozen dessert, raw data, navel orange, digital camera, foreign market, teenage idol, artificial intelligence, rising cost, short views, administrative assistant, judicial decision, warming trays, private club, working relationship, rocket engine, used car, technical term, Computer terminal, criminal intent, tax shelter, rash decision, chemical weapons, customer complaint, limited edition, funeral home, idle hands, calf muscle, voter fraud, net earnings, rotator cuff, midnight raid, gourmet cooking, blatant lie, muscular dystrophy, executive suite, recording device, electrical engineer, venerable writer, dairy product, random sampling, vegetable oil, granulated sugar, photo finish, oral report, sex therapy, shady lane, carnal knowledge, wheat flour, baby crib, bitter divorce, young alumni, miraculous recovery, bronze sculpture, bright lane, racquetball court, guiding light, Okay, here's our favorite little word drill. Not really marked. Here we go. This is an exercise on the little words. This is a dumb exercise. It will soon become obvious that this didn't come from any book written by an educated person, but rather that this is a collection of sentences made up by the speaker. For those of you who have problems with the following, this and that, these and those, ands, buts, and ors, not to mention contractions, remember that this is a bad time to try to change a method of writing. Let's try to get those kinks out of the present system. Now, doesn't that make sense at this time? If you don't think that this makes sense, don't tell me because I don't want to hear about it. It's more important that you think this makes sense. After all, who's the boss? Don't answer that. Let's just do as we're told. As I said, we'll practice contractions such as don't, can't, doesn't, won't, didn't, isn't, I'm, wouldn't, couldn't, and anything else I can fit into this or these or that or those. And I want you to work and work and work. The following won't make any more sense than the preceding, but don't let that worry you. That doesn't worry me. And I'm the one making a fool of myself. Now, didn't you know that these is the plural of this and that those is the plural of that? I didn't know that, but I know it now, and I can't say it's improved my life very much. Maybe you'll have better luck. Isn't this a good time to have a CSR test? I can't really say that I think that this is a good time for one of those, but we have got to take these things as they come, and we'll make the best of things as they come, even if we would rather wait two more months, because at that time, we'll be writing a good 225. We'll just have to work hard so that we'll amaze them all with our accuracy on such things as these and those and this and that. Not to mention can't, won't, isn't, didn't, wouldn't, couldn't, doesn't, don't. Get those fingers off the keys with good, clean strokes. Isn't it fun to do finger exercises? I don't really like that. This isn't my idea of a good time, but rather of necessity. When I went shopping, I bought a lot of this and that. I didn't buy any liquor or cigars or candy or soda pop, but I couldn't resist the milk, vegetables, and fish. I didn't see or need cereal or soup, but I wouldn't pass up the coffee and soap. Some of these things I needed and some of those I didn't. So I didn't buy those that I didn't need, but I bought those that I couldn't do without. 
I don't like the end of the shopping because I don't like to pay that bill. Don't you feel that way? Doesn't everybody feel that way? The way to get rich and successful is to learn to be accurate on this and that these and those don't and doesn't, can't and couldn't, won't and wouldn't isn't and didn't also i'm and your and you'll and will but let's not forget our plurals that he couldn't and they wouldn't i don't and she doesn't that doesn't sound right those aren't good these won't work this isn't any good don't do that but rather do this i'm not sure that's right you're doing fine doesn't that seem right don't you like this you'll pass this test we'll work hard for that exercises aren't all bad sometimes they'll help it can't work if you uh, won't try shouldn't we be careful of plurals i wouldn't say that we shouldn't and i can't say that we won't haven't you been working hard we've all been working hard that's the way it goes this is lots of fun you'll pass that test you'll have that license they'll have that license i'll have empty chairs and i'm going to be very happy Okay. Okay. You can see the screen, right? Okay. Round one. Here we go. So you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. But did you also see him decrease his speed then? No, I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to come by and pick you up? It's common for him to drop by now and then. He's like a brother. He's lived with us off and on. And was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning? No. Now, when you observe Jim's car, and I direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said, look over there, and then you looked up. Now, did you look at the motorcycle first, or did you look to Mr. Caswell's car? As I recall, I glanced over to the car first, and did you see uh, Jim Caswell at that time? Yes. And was he uh, motioning? Do you recall? I can't recall if he uh, was or if he wasn't. Now, approximately how far from you? your position in car links if it's easier for you was jim's vehicle when you uh, looked up and saw it about five or so car links and how far was the motorcycle when you observed it at this time i didn't observe the motorcycle until it uh, hit the driveway right when it was coming into the driveway and so i don't really recall seeing him and the motorcycle at the same time do you know of any speed limit signs in the parking area there? I don't really look for speed limit signs along there. Every school, it says 25 miles an hour while school is in session. You don't know of anything in the parking lot area? No. Now, when you saw, when you looked up and you saw Jim's vehicle after your brother said, look over there, how fast was Jim moving? As I recall, he was just stopped. He was stopped at that uh, point in time. Yes. And that was even prior to seeing the motorcycle. Yes. Was that also prior to the motorcycle entering the driveway? As I recall, the motorcycle didn't come uh, until about a minute uh, after the time he was stopped, I think he was waiting for my friend Randy. I think Randy was uh, going to get a ride home with him or something because the principal kicked him off the school grounds or something. Where was Randy at the time of the accident? As I recall, he was over to the right along where the cars are parked like this. He was over there. 
where the straight parking is? Yes, right along the fence. Did you see him or hear him yell to Jim to stop? No. Did your brother John ever tell you what he wanted you to look at when he said, look over there? No. Were there a lot of people in the area at this time? No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. No, I think the bell had just rang. So then you were late for class. Yes. Can you estimate approximately how many people were in the area? I'd say 10 to 15 people were gathered around. This is prior to the accident. This is after the accident. People that gathered around, there were about 15 people out there, I would say around and throughout the area prior to the accident. Yes, that's from when he pulled up. At the time of the accident, did you notice anybody else in close proximity to you or to the vehicles involved? Yes. Do you know their names? Bob Jones. Do you have an address for him? No. Did you notice anybody else? Not that I can recall. Did you notice any girls in the area? No. Now, did you actually see the motorcycle strike the automobile? Yes. Where was the first point of contact that you saw? The left up front fender and the bumper at the front part. Yes. Did you notice Jim do anything to avoid the accident? Did he honk his horn or did he swerve? I don't recall. Now, at the time you had the motorcycle in view as it went over the speed bump, could you see what Mr. Butler was doing? No, sir. Could you tell whether or not he was looking forward at you? No, I really can't. I didn't think nothing was coming out. I didn't pay any attention. Did it appear to you that Mr. Caswell lost control of the motorcycle as soon as he went over the speed bump? Mr. Caswell was in the car. I'm sorry. I mean, Mr. Butler, excuse me. Well, he didn't appear to me that he lost control. I don't know if he did. Then that would be the reason for the accident but you don't know whether he I think he just didn't see the car what do you base that upon because he didn't seem to wobble to me anyway to where it was out of control okay and then the car was at a stop and then uh, he went straight there was plenty of room to the left and right of the car to go around either way and you could see Mr. Butler's head looking in the direction of the vehicle no I couldn't I can't even recall seeing his face the only part I recall seeing about his head was when the helmet fell off to the best of your recollection, that when he went over the speed bump, both of the wheels were on the ground at one point in time, yes. And he came down and he didn't lose control of the motorcycle at all. He didn't seem to wobble or nothing out of control. And he proceeded directly into Mr. Caswell's vehicle, yes. Did you notice any skid marks or anything like that at the scene? No, I didn't. Let me ask you to take a look at this photograph. Does that show the area where the accident happened? Yes, okay. I'm just going to point out something here based on what you say. I assume that the car was somewhere around in here, right? And the motorcycle came in this direction. Yes. And there is a speed bump. Yes, sir. And uh, the accident happened in here somewhere. Yes. Let me see. a little long but it's five minutes Ugh. okay i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do like a variable speed like up and down up and down one time So you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed? No, I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to come by and pick you up? It's common for him to to uh, drop by now and then. He's like a brother. He's lived with us off and on. And was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning? No. Now, when you observe Jim's car, and I direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said, look over there, and then you looked up. Now, did you look to the motorcycle first or did you look to Mr. Caswell's car? As I recall, I glanced over to the car first. And did you see Jim Caswell at that time? Yes. And was he 
motioning. Do you recall? I can't recall if he was or if he wasn't. Now, approximately how uh, far from your position in car lengths, if it's easier for you, was Jim's vehicle when you looked up and saw it about five or so car lengths? About how far was the motorcycle when you observed it at this time? I didn't observe the motorcycle until it hit the driveway right when it was coming into the driveway. And so I don't really recall seeing him in the motorcycle at the same time. Do you know of any speed limit signs in the parking area there? I don't really look for speed limit signs along there every school it says 25 miles an hour while school is in session you don't know of anything in the parking lot area no now when you saw when you looked up and you saw Jim's vehicle after your brother said look over there how fast was Jim moving as I recall he was just stopped he was stopped at that point in time yes and that was even prior to seeing the motorcycle yes was that also prior to the motorcycle entering the driveway as I recall the motorcycle didn't come up until about a couple minutes after the time he was stopped I think he was waiting for my friend Randy I think Randy was going at, to get a ride home with him or something because the principal kicked him off the school grounds or something. Where was Randy at the time of the accident? As I recall, he was over to the right along where the cars are parked like this. He was over there. Where was the parking is? Yes, right along the fence. Did you see him or hear him yell to Jim to stop? No. Did your brother John ever tell you what he wanted you to look at when he said, look over there? No. Were there a lot of people in the area at this time? No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. No, I think the bell had just rang. So then you were late for class. Yes. Can you estimate approximately how many people were in the area? I'd say 10 to 15 people were gathered around. This is prior to the accident. This is after the accident. People that gathered around, there was about... Uh, 15 people out there, I would say around and throughout the area prior to the accident. Yes, that's from when he pulled up. At the time of the accident, did you notice anybody else in close proximity to you or to the vehicles involved? Yes. Do you know their names? Bob Jones. Do you have an address for him? No. Did you notice anybody else? Not that I can recall. Did you notice any girls in the area? No. Now, did you actually see the motorcycle strike the automobile? Yes. Where was the first point of contact that you saw? The left front fender and the bumper. The front part? Yes. Did you notice Jim do anything to avoid the accident? Did he honk his horn or did he swerve? I don't recall. Now, at the time you had the motorcycle in view as it went over the speed bump, could you see what Mr. Butler was doing? No, sir. Could you tell whether or not he was looking forward at you? No, I really can't. I didn't think nothing was coming out. I didn't pay any attention. Did it appear to you that Mr. Caswell lost control of the motorcycle as soon as he went over the speed bump? Mr. Caswell was in the car. I'm sorry. I mean, Mr. Butler, excuse me. Well, he didn't appear to me that he lost control. I don't know if he did. Then that would be the reason for the accident. But you didn't know whether he, I think he just didn't see the car. What do you base that upon? Because he didn't seemed to wobble to me anyway to where it was out of control okay and then the car was at a stop and then he went straight there was uh, plenty of room to the left and right of the car to go around either way and you could see Mr. Butler's head looking in the direction of the vehicle no I couldn't I can't uh, recall even seeing his face the only part I recall seeing about his head was when the helmet fell off to the best of your recollection, when he went over the speed bump, both of his wheels were on the ground at one point in time, yes, and he came down and he didn't lose control of the motorcycle at all. He didn't seem to wobble or nothing out of control, and he proceeded directly into Mr. Caswell's vehicle, yes. Did you notice any skid marks or anything like that at the scene? No, I didn't. Let me ask you to take a look at this photograph. Does that show the area where the accident happened? Yes, okay. I'm just going to point out something here based on what you say I assume that the car was somewhere around in here right and the motorcycle came in this direction yes and there is a speed bump yes sir and the accident happened in here somewhere yes how was that good good Okay, let's uh, do the one minutes. Okay.
Ready? Begin. So you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed? No. I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to come by and pick you up? It's common for him to drop by now and then. He's like a brother. She, He's lived with us off and on. And was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning? No. Now, when you observe Jim's car, and I direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said, look over there, and then you looked up. Now, did you look uh, to the motorcycle first, or did you look to Mr. Caswell's car? As I recall, I glanced over to the car first, and did you see Jim Caswell at that time? Yes. Was uh, he motioning? Do you recall? I can't recall if. So you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed then? No, I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to come by and pick you up? It's common for him to drop by now and then. He's like a brother. He's lived with us off and on. And was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning? No. Now, when you observed Jim's car, and I direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said, look over there, and then you looked up. Now, did you look to the motorcycle first, or did you look to Mr. Caswell's car? As I recall, I glanced over to the car first, and did you see Jim Caswell at that time? Yes. And was he motioning? Do you recall? I can't recall if... Uh, he was or he wasn't. Now, approximately how far from your position in car lengths, if it's easier for you, was Jim's vehicle when you looked up and saw it? About five or so car lengths. And how far was the motorcycle when you observed it at this time? I didn't observe the motorcycle until it hit the driveway right when it was coming into the driveway. And so I don't really recall seeing him and the motorcycle at the same time. Do you know of any speed limit signs in the parking area there? I don't really look for speed limit signs along there. Every school, it says 25 miles an hour while school is in session. You don't know of anything in the parking lot area? No. Now, when you saw, when you looked up and you saw Jim's vehicle after your brother said, look over there, how fast was Jim moving? As I recall, he was just stopped. He was stopped at that point in time, yes, and that was even prior to seeing the motorcycle, yes. Was that also prior to the motorcycle entering the driveway? As I recall, the motorcycle didn't come until about a couple minutes after the time he was stopped. I think he was waiting for my friend Randy. I think Randy was... So you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed then? No, I said he had to uh, turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Coswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to come by and pick you up? It's common for him to drop by now and then. He's like a brother. He's lived with us off and on. And was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning? No. Now, when you observe Jim's car, and I direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said, look over there, and then you looked up. Now, did you look to the motorcycle? first or did you look to Mr. Caswell's car? As I recall, I glanced over to the car first and did you see uh, Jim Caswell at that time? Yes. And was he motioning? Do you recall? I can't recall if he was or if he wasn't. Now, approximately how far from your position in car links, if it's easier for you, was Jim's vehicle when you uh, looked up and saw it about five or so car links? And how far was the motorcycle when you observed it at this time? I didn't observe the motorcycle until it hit the driveway right when it 
was coming into the driveway. And so I don't really recall seeing him and the motorcycle at the same time. Do you know of any speed limit signs in the parking area there? I don't really look up for speed limit signs along there. Every school, it says 25 miles an hour while school is in session. You don't know of anything in the parking lot area? No. Now, when you saw, when you looked up and you saw Jim's vehicle after your brother said, look over there, how fast was Jim moving? As I recall, he was just stopped. He was stopped at that point in time. Yes. And that was even prior to... Uh, Seeing the motorcycle, yes. Was that also prior to the motorcycle entering the driveway? As I recall, the motorcycle didn't come until about a couple minutes after the time he was stopped. I think he was waiting for my friend Randy. I think Randy was going to get a ride home with him or something because the principal kicked him off the school grounds or something. Where was Randy at the time of the accident? As I recall, he was over to the right along where the cars are parked like this. He was over there where the street uh, parking is. Yes, right along the fence. Did you see him or hear him yell to Jim to stop? No. Did your brother John ever tell you what he wanted you to look at when he said, look over there? No. Were there a lot of people in the area at this time? No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. No, I think the bell had just rang. So then you were late for class. Yes. Can you estimate approximately how many people were in the area? I'd say 10 to 15 people were gathered around. This is prior to the accident. This is after the accident. People that gathered around, there was about 15 people out there, uh, I would say, around and throughout the area prior to the accident. Yes, that's from when he pulled up. At the time of the accident, did you notice anybody else in close proximity to you or to the vehicles involved? Yes. Do you know their names? Bob Jones. Do you have Ready? Begin. So you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed then? No. I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn uh, tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to to come by and pick you up it's common for him to drop by now and then he's like a brother he's lived with us off and on and was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning no now when you observe jim's uh, car and i direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said look over there and then you looked up now did you look uh, to the motorcycle first or did you look to mr caswell's car as i recall i glanced over to the car first and did you see jim caswell at that time yes and was he motioning do you recall i can't recall if he was or if he wasn't now approximately how far from your position in car links if it's easier for you was jim's vehicle when you looked up and saw it about five or so car lengths and how far was the motorcycle when you observed it at this time? I didn't observe the motorcycle until it hit the driveway right when it was coming into the driveway. And so I don't really recall seeing him and the motorcycle at the same time. Do you know of any speed limit signs in the parking area there? I don't really look for speed limit signs along there. Every school, it says 25 miles an hour while school is in session. You don't know of anything in the parking lot area? No. Now, when you saw, when you looked up and you saw Jim's vehicle after your brother said, look over there, how fast was Jim moving? As I recall, he was just stopped. He was stopped at that point in time. Yes. And that was even prior to seeing the motorcycle. Yes. Was that also prior to the motorcycle entering the driveway? As I recall, the motorcycle didn't come until about a couple of minutes after the time he was stopped. I think he was waiting for my friend Randy. I think Randy was going uh, to uh, get a ride home with him or something because the principal kicked him off the ground or something. Where was Randy at the time of the accident? As I recall, he was over to the right along where the cars are parked like this. He was over there. Where the street parking is? Yes, right along the fence. Did you see him or hear him yell to Jim to stop? No. Did your brother John ever tell you what he wanted you to look at when he said, look over there? No. Were there a lot of people in the area at this time? No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. No, I think the bell had just rang. So then you were late for class. Yes. Can you estimate approximately how many people 
people were in the area. I'd say 10 to 15 people were gathered around. This is prior to the accident. This is after the accident. People that gathered around, there was about 15 people out there, I would say around and throughout the area prior to the accident. Yes, that's from when he pulled up. At the time of the accident, did you notice anybody else in close proximity to you or to the vehicles involved? Yes. Do you know their names? Bob Jones. Do you have an address for him? No. Did you notice anybody else? Not that I can recall. Did you notice any girls in the area? No. Now, did you actually see the motorcycle strike the automobile? Yes. Where was the first point of contact that you saw? The left front fender and the bumper. The front part, yes. Did you notice Jim do anything to avoid the accident? Did he honk his horn or did he swerve? I don't recall. Now, at the time you had the motorcycle in view, as it went over the speed bump, could you see what Mr. Butler was doing? No, sir. Could you tell whether or not he was looking forward at you? No, I really can't. Uh, I didn't think uh, nothing was coming out. I didn't pay any attention. Did it appear to you that Mr. Caswell lost control of the motorcycle as soon as he went over the speed bump? Mr. Caswell was in the car. I'm sorry. I mean, Mr. Butler, excuse me. Well, he didn't appear to me that he lost control. I don't know if he did then that would be the reason for the accident. But you don't know whether he, I think he just didn't see the car. But do you base that upon? Because he didn't seem to wobble to me. Okay, this will be the whole way through and then I'll read back. <clears throat> so what uh, you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed then? No. I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Was it common for him to come by and pick you up? It's common for him to drop by now and then. He's like a brother. He's lived with us off and on. And was it his usual practice to take you to school in the morning? No. Now, when you observed at Jim's car, and I direct your attention to the point in time when your brother said, look over there, and then you looked up now, did you look at the motorcycle first or did you look to Mr. Caswell's car? As I recall, I glanced over to the car first and did you see Jim Caswell at that time? Yes. And was he motioning? Do you recall? I can't recall if he was or if he wasn't. Now, approximately, how far from your position in car lengths, if it's easier for you, was Jim's vehicle when you looked up and saw it about five or so car lengths? And how far was the motorcycle when you observed it at this time? I didn't observe the motorcycle until it hit the driveway right when it was coming into the driveway. And so I don't really recall seeing him and the motorcycle at the same time. Do you know of any speed limit signs in the parking area there? I don't really look for speed limit signs over there. Every school, it says 25 miles an hour while school is in session. You don't know of anything in the parking lot area? No. Now, when you saw, when you looked up and you saw Jim's vehicle after your brother said, look over there, how fast was Jim moving? As I recall, he was just stopped. He was stopped at that point in time. Yes. And that was even prior to seeing the motorcycle. Yes. Was that also prior to the motorcycle entering the driveway? As I recall, the motorcycle didn't come until about a couple minutes after the time he was stopped. I think he was waiting for my friend Randy. I think Randy was uh, going to get a ride home with him or something because the principal kicked him off the school grounds or something. Where was Randy at the time of the accident? As I recall, he was over to the right along where the cars are parked like this. He was over there where the straight parking is. Yes, right along the fence. Did you see him or hear him yell to Jim to stop? No. Did your brother John ever tell you what he wanted you to look at when he said, look over there? No. Were there a lot of people in the area at this time? No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. No, I think the bell had just rang. So uh, you were late for class. Yes. Can you estimate approximately how many people were in the area? I'd say 10 to 15 people were gathered around. This is prior to the accident. This is after the accident. People that gathered around, there was about 15 people out there, I would say, around and throughout the area 
prior to the accident? Yes, that's from when he pulled up. At the time of the accident, did you notice anybody else in close proximity to you or to the vehicles involved? Yes. Do you know their names? Bob Jones. Do you have an address for him? No. Did you notice anybody else? Not that I can recall. Did you notice any girls in the area? No. Now, did you actually see the motorcycle strike the automobile? Yes. Where was the first point of contact that you saw? The left front fender and the bumper. The front part? Yes. Did you notice Jim do anything to avoid the accident? Did he honk his horn or did he swerve? I don't recall. Now, at the time you had the motorcycle in view as it went over the speed bump, could you see what Mr. Butler was doing? No, sir. Could you tell whether or not he was looking forward at you? No, I really can't. I didn't think nothing was coming out. I didn't pay any attention. Did it appear to you that Mr. Caswell lost control of the motorcycle as soon as he went over the speed bump? Mr. Caswell was in the car. I'm sorry, I mean, Mr. Butler, excuse me. Well, he didn't appear to me that he lost control. I don't know if he did. Then that would be the reason for the accident. But you don't know whether he, I think he just didn't see the car. What do you base that upon? Because he didn't seem to wobble to me anyway to where it was out of control. Okay. And then the car was at a stop. And uh, he then went straight. There was plenty of room to the left and right of the car to go around either way. And you could see Mr. Butler's head looking in the direction of the vehicle. No, I couldn't. I can't recall even seeing his face. The only part I recall seeing about his head was when the helmet uh, fell off, to the best of your recollection. When he went over the speed bump, but both of his wheels were on the ground at one point in time. Yes, and he came down and he didn't lose control of the motorcycle at all. He didn't seem to wobble or nothing out of control. And he proceeded directly into Mr. Caswell's vehicle. Yes, did you notice any skid marks or anything like that at the scene? No, he didn't. Let me ask you to take a look at this photograph. Does that show the area where the accident happened? Yes, okay. I'm just going to point out something here based on what you say i assume that the car was somewhere around in here right and the motorcycle came in this direction yes and there is the speed bump yes sir and the accident happened in here somewhere yes okay i'll be half a half a minute so we'll read our half a minute question so you heard him increase his speed, but then you have also told us that he had to decrease his speed over the speed bump. Did you also see him decrease his speed then? Answer, no. I said he had to turn into the parking lot. He didn't swing wide like some people come in there and swing their motorcycles around and others come in and turn tight and come right back. Question, is it your testimony that Mr. Caswell was not living with you at the time of the accident? Answer, yes, that I can recall. He was living with Dorothy. Question, was it uh, common for him to come by and pick you up? The end. Good job coming so early in the morning. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Carrie. Now don't go back to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. You Thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Have a good one. Hi, Carrie. Um, yes. This is Lauren. That was my first time ever trying that. Um, oh. <laughs> but I really liked it. I feel like I was actually able to catch a lot more words than I expected to catch. Okay, with good. With my voice writer. So I'm going to um, run through it. I don't know if maybe I should send it to you to see yeah what i mean definitely yeah i will definitely look at it. and you saw uh okay. i don't know you know this is community so it's a free class to whoever wants to come so it's not oh. just our okay yeah it's kind of our way of giving back to the industry and so um um that one girl that's in there beth hensley she goes to a school in oklahoma and she's uh um i just learned this because on facebook she posted she passed the the cart voice cart test CV oh wow something. and then so you know this is the first time i've seen her since that was posted last week and now she's um um oh we're being recorded and now she's um uh working on the cvr so that's yeah. awesome so it is that's awesome. awesome i um i was excited because i have been needing to train my q a much faster 
Okay, good.